Welcome back to another part of this Sly Cooper and the Devious Raccoonus playthrough. I'm about to go do the next stage called the Unseen Foe. I have to wait for him to fall asleep and then attack. ATTACK! <laughs> Let's go! So yes, welcome back. I think, like I said, I, I know we're in double digits when it comes to this playthrough. But I also know how many bottles I got in this? 30. I also know technically we are like almost done the game. I just saw like a bottle hopping. Was 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 I going crazy? Could have sworn I just saw one hopping right over here. But uh, again, those of you just joining me, I'm playing Sly Cooper the Thievius Raccoonus for the first time ever in my life. And trying to collect all the bottles and all the blueprints. This looks like a good place to try out your new invisibility move. Hold hm. down the circle button to drop out of sight. Oh. While invisible, nothing can see you. Not lasers, not oh, searchlights, okay. not guards. Oh, and if the guards already see you, then the invisibility trick won't work on them. Really? Good to know. I go around breaking stuff here to get hopefully a lucky charm. As I go oh, look at that. I would not have seen that here if not for the fact that I decided, hey, let's hold on. Can I jump on? Nope. By the way, I spoiled myself. Uh, <laughs> by that, I looked at the trophy list, and apparently, yes, Sly does learn a glide sometime later on. It's probably after we beat the Panda King. So it's not really going to come much in handy, because I believe we got this Panda King area to do. And then after that, I don't know if the final boss has like a hideout, or if it's just the final boss. What am I doing? I can just can move when I'm like this. As this monkey here just looks dumbfounded, like, oh, uh, I believe he's gonna come by this way, so I might as well just keep looking. Hey, you know, that's a strange looking shadow just strangely walking by. Whoa! I can't jump. Yeah, when I'm invisible. Can I get up there? If so, how? How does one get up here? So far, some of these power-ups look like they have not been used for me. The decoy, the dive's been really good, the roll's been pretty decent, and fast, only just so I can move faster like this, but... Other than that, a lot of Sly Cooper's, uh... stuff doesn't seem like, you know, useful. It seems like they just put it in the game, just put it in the game. It's a good thing I learned the uh, invisibility walk. Imagine if I had to do that. How do I get up here? Do, do I come back later? Hold on. Cool. Apius has hairy palm. Oh boy, I too am a lonely person, but you don't see that happening for me, man. <laughs> I, I think I see how I get up there. I just saw it right here. Yeah, there's a... You can jump on these platforms. See? The blue spark. What about over here? Okay, so there must be a way. Jump on that. Either later or now. And find out. Okay, just making sure I got the... Lasers can't see me. Lights can't see me. Probably a very broken ability. Crap. Hold on. <laughs> oh, damn, I'm good. That's how I get up there. Okay, I see it now. Just progress further through the stage. Sly Cooper with his little backpack. By the way, no, no, it's just, uh, I know I keep mentioning Infamous because Infamous is one of my favorite franchises in the first two Infamous games with Cole McGrath and in Festival of Blood, I should say. Cole's backpack has a Sly Cooper emblem on it. In fact, I got the uh, Infamous 2 Collector's Edition, which comes with the cool little sling backpack of Sly Cooper, and it's really cool. That is probably one of my favorite, um... Recall there. Um, collector's editions is the infamous two because it came with a coal statue also. 
and it came with that backpack, and I used that backpack for a uh, Cole cosplay at one time, which is kind of neat. But, um, yeah, there are some, uh, how you say, collector's editions that aren't worth it to me. Like, uh, anything back then, do they still even do, like, big time collector's editions? Because technically, collector's editions, you're paying for um, the extra stuff plus the game. So I, I can't. <laughs> Let's see. Nope. But um, is there a collector's edition? I, I think maybe one of the worst ones. Even though people dislike the, uh... Then again, wait, which one was it? I can't remember what was in the uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken one. I think it was just a bunch of, uh... Oh, it was like a little arcade cabinet thing. That was kind of lame. And then you get a whole bunch of gems, right? That's a lame one. Um... Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite had the really cool idea. It's like, let's give them the, uh... <laughs> The Infinity Stones, but they look like eggs. Look nothing like they did on the poster, which was a huge lie. Um, I forget which God of War it was that gave me a Kratos statue. I think it was the God of War Ascension Collector's Edition. Yeah, because it also uh, gave me the uh, Steel Tin. He saw me. I don't know how, but he saw me. Also, that's kind of lame for a collector's edition, is the steel tin. Oh, look at that, Tigris! Before Tigris was a thing. And I know, I know, they're just doing, um, what do you call their, like, kung fu fighting styles. You know, monkey styles, same thing what Kung Fu Panda did. I'm not saying Kung Fu Panda took from Sly Cooper, and so on and so forth. Damn, I, I, this is why, this is why I am somewhat really good at 3D platform collectathons. Like Banjo. I really have to play Banjo Tooie one day again. Because I'm one of those people that actually think Banjo Tooie is better than the first, but now I see people online saying, like, oh, it's just too big. That's what she said. And it's just too. Whoa! Oh, well, I'll get you. No, Sly. Damn it, Sly. You didn't make me think you were invisible. And like I said, I'll get to Jack 2, and how far back did it send me? I'm so confused. Oh, wait, nope, wrong way. I'll get to Jack 2 one day, and uh, Ratchet and Clank going commando, because like I said, I really love that series, Ratchet and Clank. In fact, I want to try to play every Ratchet and Clank game, <laughs> even the bad ones. I'm looking at you, full frontal assault, and... Boy, what's another bad Ratchet and Clank game? Oh, All for One. Even though I've never played All for One, I can't say that it's bad. I think, um. Yeah, Full Frontal Assault wasn't that great. But I applaud Insomniac Games or the Ratchet and Clank team for trying new things each and every time when it comes to Ratchet and Clank. Which, by the way, let me let me just say something about uh, Rift Apart. Rift Apart was amazing. Rift Apart is probably right now my favorite Ratchet and Clank game. It has topped, uh, in my opinion, up your arsenal and uh, a crack in time. Those are some of my favorite Ratchet and Clank. But Rift Apart, and people are like, I really wish they would have a um, Rivet and Kit spinoff, but. That was Rift Apart. It, you basically played most of the game as Rivet and Kit. You, you did not play a lot of it as Ratchet. In fact, there was a um, there's an annoying thing which I, I don't mind Rivet and Kit. I think they're amazing characters. An annoying thing is in the arena, it shows Ratchet being playable in the arena, but you only play as Rivet in the arena. Just, just, just a little gripe, but I wouldn't mind. I too wouldn't mind a uh, rivet and uh, kit spin-off title. Which reminds me, I need to uh, try to get Jack X Combat Racing and uh, 
the uh, Lost Frontier. Even though I've seen videos of the Lost Frontier and it's freaking terrible. They ruined the Jack and Dexter mythos so much with that game. And... Whoop! Just seeing if there's anything over there. Just seeing if there's anything over there. Do, 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 do. Oh, I could have just jumped down on it, man. I did it the hard way. Do, 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 do. Huh. I would say, how do I get over there now? Oh, I see a lift of sorts that takes me back and forth, so... Let's continue first. Checkpoint, good to know. Anything to be on the lookout for? Just checking around, like... Okay, that's down below, never mind. It's kind of funny. They kind of make this uh, part almost useless. They want you to get these bottles here. So I can't just walk invisible. Damn, I'm good. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> oh, wait. Now I can. Uh, do, 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 and you're done. Probably could have made my life a whole lot easier if I just turned that off first. I need three more bottles, and I need to find out where in the blue hell is the vault. Woohoo! Ring, ring. Swing, swing, swing away! Oh, you stupid tiger lady. One more. I hate, hate, hate when you're missing one bottle. Hate it. I think I might have found out where it is. And it's not up here. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's beat the tiger. Pagoda is some huh. kind of huge gunpowder production plant. Yeah. Judging by the scale, the Panda King must be making tons of explosives. <sighs> wow, that's crazy, Murray. Maybe up more? Well, there's the vaults. Oh, 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 you sneaky little bastard. Got it. Clever spot to hide it, sucker punch. It was a challenge, but this vault's combination has got to be huh? six, six, seven. I almost shut the game off there for a second there. I was like, why would they do that? Six, six, seven. Oh, thank you, thank you. Incredible. Yeah, incredible. I never would have thought this was possible. Spike suck. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. Ooh. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into. And you won't even lose a lucky charm. That is incredible. They just they just keep making Sly super broken. <laughs> Which, in my opinion, is probably the best thing to do in a 3D platform collectathon type game. Just keep making uh, your character super broken. Alright, so, uh, I can't jump straight down because I'm going to trigger something, so. Uh, right there. And I just, hold on. Can I just, no, I can't be invisible while I deadly. I just said I can't jump straight down or I'll trigger something. But, joke's on you. Got it. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> and I got the the vault on the first try. That's incredible, is it not, ladies and gentlemen? Please give me a round of applause in the uh, in the comments below. In fact, pat your side, bleh, pat your guys itself on the back. I can actually hit that uh, uh rockets, but we're not going to do that right now. Woo! I'm invisible. I'm invisible. Can you see me? Yes. Yeah. Flaming Temple of Flame. But first, let's do this thing. Because we got three keys already. So, here we go. 
Oh, I have to actually hit it. Cool. Thanks. Man, that was uh, designed pretty, pretty crappily. <laughs> and then, uh, am I able to get back out through here? Yes. Okay, good to know. Break. Let's look around. I calculated the trajectory of these rockets, and, and I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Hmm. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, <laughs> Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. It would. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven of the Panda King's treasure keys. Right on. I'll steal them in no time. <laughs> right on. Sly Cooper, like, right on. I'll steal them in no time. All right. Might do that one. Desperate race. So there's two more stages where I can just get a key without having to worry about getting any bottles, which is nice. But this is where I will end the video, because next time we're going to be doing Flaming Temple of Flame. My name is Clinker Roth. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for some more Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonist.